Greetings, beloveds. God has laid this word in my spirit. But before we get into the word, let us start off with the word of prayer. Father, I just cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Libro sikatayabosa. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, God has sent me with this prophetic, prophetic message for women. God wants women he can trust. God wants women he can trust. Nobody was an unfaithful person, including God. Nobody wants an unfaithful person, including God. When you look at Esther, Mordecai said to Esther in Esther 4.4, 4, Perhaps you were created for such a time as this. You need to understand that in that moment, there was no time for Esther to go and consult with her friend. That was the time where she needed to be strategic. She needed to um, tackle the task at hand. She needed to pray. She needed to be the woman God needed her to be. A trustworthy woman. A woman that would be equal to the task. Now, a, a, the problem with a lot of women is that instead of running to the throne, we run to the phone. You want to tell people about your problems. You want to tell people about the quarrel that you had with your husband, the, the problems you're experiencing at work. Please don't um, misunderstand me. There's absolutely nothing wrong with seeking counsel. It is a very biblical thing to do. Very biblical. But you need to understand moments. There are moments where God will need you to be discreet. There are moments where God will need you to be quiet. Because there are certain tasks that need discretion. That need quietness. That need you to be in the secret place with God. Libro sikabahandalabosa. When the angel of God came to Mary. Mary didn't have the time. To go and say, hey, friend, you know, this angel guy came to me and said, hey, Mary, you're going to be pregnant. And, you gonna, you know, the pregnancy is going to come through the Holy Spirit. As young as she was, this woman, she understood the sensitivity of the assignment. God said to me, I want to bless my women. I want to bless my woman, but I need women I can trust. Nobody wants an unfaithful person, even God. If you are faithful to God, you will be a faithful wife. You will be a faithful steward. You will be a faithful employee, a faithful boss, a faithful daughter. You will exude faithfulness in everything that you do. But if you lack faithfulness, then every area, every aspect of your life, will always be intercepted by the enemy. Because where there is lack of, of faithfulness, deceit seeps in. The serpent said to Eve, did God really say? This started with Eve consulting with a person or rather consulting and by doing that overriding God. Let your consultations not override what God has said. By all means have prayer partners. By all means talk to your friends, talk to your co-workers, talk to your families. But let that not override what God has said. Because in this hour, God is looking for women he can trust. God is looking for women he can trust. God is looking for women he can trust. God is looking for women who he can trust. Women of great integrity. 
Women who will carry the vision. Women who will birth the vision. Women who will not only birth children, but birth nations. Women who can stand and, and be the next in their families and stand in the gap for their husbands and stand in the gap for their children and stand in the gaps for generations to come. Women I can trust. Tell them, I am looking for women I can trust. A lot of people want God to bless them. A lot of people want God to use them. And God has just sent me with this message. Tell them. I am looking for women I can trust. If you can be faithful in your walk with God, if you can be faithful where you are, if you can be faithful in your walk with God, then God will release greater things to you. Every blessing comes with a responsibility. And in this season, in this hour, God is looking for women that are not only going to raise children, but raise nations. Women that will be talked about in generations to come. The women of this generation need to be the exemplary women like your Ruth, like your Esther, like your Mary, your Abigail. God is looking for women he can trust. If you want God to bless you, if you want God to use you, be faithful to God. Because when you are faithful to God, you will be faithful in every other area of your life. God wants to use women mightily in this season to impact nations, to impact generations. The prerequisite is faithfulness. Be faithful to God in all your doings, in all your dealings. Be faithful to God. God is looking for women he can trust. God bless you. I love you, women. I love you so much. And God loves you so much more. And in this month where we are celebrating the month of women, women's month, be a woman God can trust. So he can release nations in your hands and you will steward them faithfully. Be a woman God can trust. God bless you.